morning class so as you see uh, a numerical here so today we'll be discussing and we'll be solving some of the numericals from chapter number three and uh, that is machines these numericals are based on your pulleys all right so we have completed the chapter in our previous uh, video lectures you have seen uh, you have learned about pulleys uh, uses of pulleys uh, as a single pulley and as a combination of pulleys you have seen isn't it so these are the numericals which are based on them all right so let's begin with the first question the first question says okay a woman draws water from a well using a fixed pulley so here we have a fixed pulley so if uh, we need to draw the pulley just uh, to make you all understand i'm drawing this pulley okay so here i have the uh, <coughs> frame which is fixed and here i have the pulley okay and this is my axle so here you see that axle of this pulley is fixed so this is our single fixed pulley okay so <clears throat> then what happens is the mass of the bucket and the water together is 6 kg the force applied by the woman is 70 uh, newton all right calculate the mechanical advantage and take g equals to 10 meter per second square so here uh, the woman okay there's a woman who, who is trying to uh, get a water okay and here we have the bucket so suppose say this is the bucket okay and the bucket plus water and the mass of them together is how much six kilogram and on the other end okay so this is my load and on the other end effort is applied by <coughs> the woman and the effort applied is 70 newton all right so this is what the question is all about so let's see the solution here so for this first of all let's jot down the things which are given in the question or you can say the information provided in the question so here mass that is m equals to six kilogram all right and the woman is applying the effort that is e equals to 70 newton and the acceleration due to gravity that is g is given that is 10 meter per second square okay so now you know that the question is asking us to find mechanical advantage now you know to find mechanical advantage the formula or the relation okay you know isn't it so we'll write we know mechanical advantage equals to load by effort it is load by effort so here since in the question load directly is not given but the load is given in terms of mass okay so we'll first find the load so load equals to mg that is force equals to mg you know the relation so m is 6 and the g is 10 so that gives me 60 newton okay so now we have the load we have the effort so now we can find the mechanical advantage so mechanical advantage you know is load by effort so load is 60 and effort is 70 0 and 0 from numerator and denominator gets cancelled and uh, 6 by 7 is uh, you cannot divide so 0 point we'll put the decimal that will become 60 7 8 it will go 56 okay then 7 5 35 and then 7 so this will be your solution okay and you know mechanical advantage does not have the unit so we'll have to write this statement here so write this statement here therefore the mechanical advantage is 0 0.857 okay so now we will do question number two so in question number two you see again we have a question based on single fixed pulley so here is we have a, a fixed pulley means it's a single fixed pulley it's driven by a hundred kg mass falling at the rate of eight meter in 40 second it lifts a load okay of 75.0 <coughs> kilogram force so here let us again draw a pulley just to make you all understand okay so i have a single fixed pulley okay and here i have a load okay and the load is 75.0 kgf and on the other end what is um, put there is a hundred okay hundred kilogram mass which is falling in the downward direction okay at the rate of eight meter in four in four second means you can just get it it's two meter per second from here just a, a simple logic here okay so this weight uh, or you can say this mass is falling down 
so that's why this load is going up, upward okay so this is how the entire scenario is framed here all right so the question number a here says you have to find the power input to the pulley taken taking the force of gravity on one kilogram as 10 newton okay and number b the efficiency of the pulley and number c the height to which the load is raised in four second right yes so you can simply get the solution for number six because number six might says that the rate uh, at which it is falling is eight uh, meter in four second so the question is also asking you to find the height at which the load is being raised and you know in a single fixed pulley the distance moved by okay the distance moved by effort is equal to distance moved by load so here you can see that the effort is moving uh, eight meter in four second so the load will also definitely move 8 meter upward in the given time that is 4 seconds so just by reading the question we get the solution for number C okay so I hope you will you can easily find that okay now let's begin now here the effort is given in terms of mass in the previous question uh, your load was given in terms of mass isn't it so here uh, effort is given so let's uh, first of all write uh, given okay effort is given in terms of mass so effort equals to mg okay m into g so m is 100 okay into 10 so that gives you 1000 newton so this is our effort are you getting my point this is my effort now the height okay to which it is moved the height to which it is moved is 8 meter okay and in how many seconds in in four second are you getting my point so now these are the information which is given apart from this we have one more thing that is the load load is 75 okay load is 75 kilogram force that is kg f all right so now uh, load is given in kgf which is not the si unit of force so we need to convert this in si unit so 75 into 10 will give me how much 750 newton so now i have the effort uh, as well as load in the same unit that is newton okay now let's begin with the question number a question number a what do you need to find you need to find the power input so power input equals to effort into the distance moved divided by time okay this is the work done divided by time you know the power work done by time isn't it so effort is 1000 into uh, the height is 8 and the time is 4 so 4 ones are 4 4 twos are 8 so what do you get you get 2000 watt unit of power is watt all right i hope you have understood till here yes now this is my effort this is my load so number two what do you need to find you need to find efficiency now to find efficiency you know the relation of efficiency is equals to m a by v r so we need to first find m a we need v r to find the efficiency for question number b okay so for this we'll let's first find m a m a equals to load by effort you all know this load is 750 effort is 1000 0 0 gets cancelled 75 by 100 is nothing but 0 0.75 and no unit since it is mechanical advantage okay yes now velocity ratio is distance moved by effort divided by distance moved by load now you know in a single fixed pulley distance moved by the effort is always equal to distance moved by load so that will give you one isn't it in a single fixed pulley i have taught you right so now we can find efficiency so efficiency now efficiency is equals to ma by vr into 100 percent ma is 70 sorry 0 0.75 divided by 1 into 100 percent so 0 0.75 into 100 will give you 75 percent so this is the efficiency of the pulley all right now number c for number c you know distance moved by effort equals to distance moved by load yes so distance moved by effort in 4 second equals to 8 meter so therefore distance moved by load in same time 4 second that is what the question is telling you 
isn't it? It will also be 8 meter. Since if you see the question, it says the height to which the load is raised in 4 seconds, isn't it? So, the height to which the load is moved upward in 4 seconds is also 8 meter. So, this is the solution for question number 2, okay? Now, let's go to the next question. The next question that we are taking today is question number 2. 4. Question number 4 says in a block and tackle system. Now see, now we are jumping from single pulley to combination of pulleys here. So in a block and tackle system consisting of 3 pulleys. So how many are there? 3 pulleys. So when we have 3 pulleys, we will have 2 pulleys in the upper block and 1 pulley in the lower block. So you must remember that. Okay. A load of 75 kilogram force is raised with an effort of 25 kilogram force. Find the mechanical advantage what do you need to find mechanical advantage okay so let's first write given okay given number of pulleys n is how many three isn't it load is 75 kilogram force right effort is 25 kilogram force all right Yes. So now number one, what do you need to find? Number one, you need to find mechanical advantage. You know mechanical advantage is load by effort. Load is how much? 75 by 25. The effort is 25. So 25 ones are 25 threes are. So you get mechanical advantage as three. All right. Yes. Number two. In a block and tackle system, velocity ratio is equals to number of pulleys. That is n. Okay. Uh, number of pulleys n okay so number of pulleys n is 3 so velocity ratio will directly will be 3 understand and the number third question here is a very simple question efficiency you know efficiency is ma by v r ma by v r into 100 percent so ma here is how much mechanical advantage here is 3 velocity ratio is also 3 into 100 percent 3 and 3 gets cancelled, leaving you behind 100%. So here, the efficiency of this machine or this block and tackle system consisting of 3 pulleys is how much? 100%. So means it is an, in, in which condition? Idle condition. Alright. Okay. So now, we will go to the next question. Next question is question number 6. Now, question number 6. If you see the question, it's a diagram based question. So in the figure, okay, 3.32 draw or tackle tackle means the string okay draw a tackle to the one okay okay uh, to lift the load by applying the force in the downward direction number a mark in the diagram the direction of the load in the effort okay number b if the load is raised by one meter through what distance will the effort move? Number C, the dis the number of strands of the tackle supporting the load. Okay, and number D, what is the mechanical advantage of the system? All right. So first of all, what you need to do for this kind of sums is you need to draw the diagram. You need to draw the diagram. Okay, because you need to for number A, you need to mark the uh, what load and effort. Okay understand and also to draw the tackle and the question says do you have to draw the tackle so we have to draw the tackle means you cannot draw the tackle on the question paper so you need to draw the figure first understand so right now here i'm not drawing the diagram okay but please remember you need to draw the you need to draw the figure okay so you first of all you need to draw the tackle so as i have taught you you need to first always begin from the topmost pulley so here is the free end of the string the other end of the string from the topmost pulley will go to the bottom most pulley then to the second topmost from the second topmost it will go to the second last pulley then up here and then it will go and the end of the string will be attached to the lower okay lower uh, thing frame of the uh, that is lower block okay frame of the lower block now you need to draw the tensions on them so let me change the color here so tensional force will be acting in the upward direction on these five segments of the string here or the tackle so t here for each and every 
<coughs> so please draw this properly okay so t will be there on the every strand okay and now you need to show the direction of load and effort so here effort will be acting on this free end of the string so here my will be my effort here is my load which will be acting in the downward direction so i'll show you in this way downward direction as well as the effort in the downward direction and one tensional force will be here t which will be in the upward direction that will balance the effort all right so this is our solution for number a number b is says okay to what distance it will move now you know this is a very simple question okay if the effort okay okay sorry if the load moves by one meter effort will be moved by five times because it has how many pulleys five pulleys and it has how many strands here how many uh, segments of the string is here five segments okay so the solution for number a will be the effort moves equals to one meter into five that is the number of tackle or number of the segments of the string that will give you five meter understand number b question number b says if the load is raised uh, sorry that was your number b okay number a we have already done on the figure number c number c says state the number of strands of the tackle so how many strands are there if i change the color here you see one two to second string third fourth fifth segment of the string so the number of strands okay which is supporting the load is how many five how much five okay so solution for number c will be the number of strands of tackle okay supporting the load equals to five yes all right okay now number c number c what do you need to find for number c you need uh, sorry number d you need to find the mechanical advantage now mechanical advantage equals to load by effort now here this load is balanced by how many segments of the string how many five isn't it so five divided by num uh, number of uh, part segment of the string supporting the load is only one here this that is only one t so t only single t so f what is t load is 5 t so t and t gets cancelled leaving behind you five so the mechanical advantage of this combination of <coughs> pulleys that is block and tackle is how much five all right so it's very very easy sums so numericals here will be very very easy very very simple <clears throat> you just need to understand the question it's very very simple and very very easy and definitely the question comes from this segment carrying at least four marks understand in your icse okay so now let's go to the next question the next question we are doing today the last question is question number 10 okay and here question number nine is your uh, assignment for today okay question number nine Question number nine is your home assignment. You will submit me in the evening. All right. Okay. Now let's go to question number <coughs> 10. Question number 10 says a block and tackle system has a velocity ratio 3. Velocity <coughs> the ratio is 3. Means number of pulleys here in this block and tackle system is how many? How many? 3. Understand? So 3 number of pulleys are here, you need to understand this draw a label diagram of the system indicating the points of application and direction of load L and effort okay a man can exert a man exerts a pulley uh, sorry pull of 200 kilogram force what is the maximum load he can raise with this pulley okay system and if its efficiency is 60 percent so here efficiency is also uh, given okay so uh, first of all we need to draw the figure so that is our question so as i said to you whenever you have odd number of pulleys number of pulleys in the upper block will be more one more as compared to the lower block okay so here i have the upper block on the upper block i have two pulleys okay and in the lower block i will have one pulley this will be attached with a hook to a rigid support 
and I need to pass the tackle. So I always pass the tackle from the uppermost pulley to the lowermost pulley and here and then it goes and attached here on the frame of the second pulley. Okay. Understand? Now the question is telling me to label the diagram of the system indicating the point of application and direction of the load and effort. So here will be my load which will be in the downward direction. Here will be my effort which will be in the downward direction. The tackle will have three segments which is supporting the lower block and the tensional force acting on each segment will be T in the upward direction. This effort will also be uh, balanced by the tensional force on this segment of the string and the tensional force will be acting in the upward direction and the value will be T. So this will be the figure for this question number 10. Okay. Now let's write the solution for number A. Number A says what is the maximum load he can raise with this pulley system if the efficiency is 60 percent so let's write the given thing first so given here okay exerts a pool of 200 kilogram force so that is the information given in the question so that is our effort so effort is 200 kilogram force okay and efficiency is how much 60 percent okay are you getting my point so now what you need to find here is so the thing that you need to find here is load right and you know the relation for load is ma is equals to l by e that is effort so first of all you need to find the um, mechanical advantage so to find the mechanical advantage <coughs> Okay, you must know velocity ratio, but you know <coughs> that velocity ratio is nothing but the number of pulleys here. <coughs> so number of pulleys here is 1, 2 and 3. That is N. Isn't it? So N equals to 3. So velocity ratio equals to 3. Okay. So now we know, we know efficiency is equals to MA by VR or efficiency is 60%. 60% equals to MA by and vr is 3 no need to write this part okay this part i've just explained to you or you can get the 60 percent as 60 by 100 into 3 equals to ma 0 and 0 gets cancelled or you'll get 6 3 is 18 18 by 10 equals to m a okay mechanical advantage or mechanical advantage equals to 1.8 so we now got the mechanical advantage so from here we have the <coughs> effort we have the mechanical advantage now applying that here in this relation we can find the load okay so <coughs> now ma equals to load by effort or load equals to ma into effort so mechanical advantage this is my load okay mechanical advantage is 1.8 into 200 that will give me 218 is 36 and two zeros and one place decimal here so my decimal will be here so i will get how much 360 kgf so this is my load all right now if you see question number a we found the maximum load that the pulley system this pulley system can raised is how much 360 kilogram force now the second one is number b is if the effort n moves by 60 centimeter what distance does the load move means we have to find the distance moved by the load okay so for this we need the relation for velocity ratio so velocity ratio you know it's distance moved by effort divided by distance moved by <coughs> load or distance moved by load equals to distance moved by effort divided by velocity ratio so distance moved by the load it's given in the question it's how much 60 okay and the velocity ratio is 3 60 by 3 is 20 centimeter so this is it it's very very simple numericals you just need to follow uh, and ma make the maximum use of the relations that i have taught you all right so that's it for today if you have any doubts if you find any doubts anywhere please let me know and question number nine is your 
assignment for today. Alright, so that's all. Thank you.